Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be going over how to use a practice file on an Xbox 360 for Banjo Kazooie speedrunning practice. Uh, so before we start, uh, you're going to have to, you're going to need a computer, a fresh USB stick or hard drive, and a Windows program called Modio. Uh, you also need to download the practice file itself, which is also linked in the description with Modio as well. All right, well, let's start with it. So first, you're going to want to hit your Xbox menu here, and you're going to want to go over to System Settings right here. Click on that. And then you're going to um, want to go over to storage. Then you're going to want to plug in your USB device. Um, it could be a hard drive, USB stick, whatever. But once that's plugged in, um, it might ask you to format it. Um, just go ahead and go do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that as well. So I'm going to hit format. I press Y, hit format, and then press yes to format it. And then after it's formatted, um, it should just be a clean nothing in there, zero kilobytes, everything. And now we're gonna go over and head over to Banjo-Kazooie, so I'll just do that right now. So Xbox Sony, My Games, Banjo-Kazooie. And then I'm just gonna press start through all this. And then once you uh, sign in here, which I'm about to do, um, you're gonna wanna just probably, I would recommend signing into a alternate profile. So I have, I have one right here called Z Banjo Prac. So yeah, just open that up, uh, press continue, uh, playing offline. I'm offline right now, so you might not have the same menuing. But once you're here, you're just going to want to select your new storage device. And then once you're here, play game. You're going to want to um, make sure that all these are empty. Um, just to double check, press X and hit uh, USB storage device. And then check one more time and everything's empty. And now uh, you're going to want to go into this file. It doesn't matter which file you go into. I'm just going to go to the first one. And then skip that cutscene. And then just press start. Exit game. And that basically makes it so that um, the game is uh, saved and ha actually has a save file on it. So let's just double check real quick. Play game. And... Four seconds, zero jigsaws, zero notes, and that should be ready to go. So um, I'll see you over on the PC side of things. All right, now we're back on PC here, and what you're going to want to do is download Modio and the practice file linked in the description. Um, once you download the practice file, uh, you're going to want to just right-click on it. It's going to be a zip file, and then you're just going to want to press Extract to BK practice file, and I, ha I just have it down here. So you're just going to want to open open it and make sure you, you can see savegame.dat, and we'll worry about that later. And then once uh, Modio is done, um, we're going to go over there real quick. So I'm going to open that up right now. I'm going to close out all this. Sorry about that. And I believe we're going to uh, start on the news feed here. So once you're on the news feed, just uh, head over to open a save on the bottom of the screen. And then you're going to see um, Browse right here. And uh, once you click Browse, you're going to want to go to your USB device. Um, I actually forgot to go plug that in real quick, so I'll do that right now. All right, now we're back. And then you're going to want to go down to your USB device, your local disk. Um, and if you don't see this content folder, you're just going to want to open up a file explorer again. And you just want to go back to it. And then there's going to be these tabs up here where file, home, and share everything is. You're going to go to view. And then you're going to see these checkboxes here. And then there's going to be a checkbox for hidden items. And you're just going to want to click that. Because if I get rid of that, you're not going to be able to see it. So now you're going to be able to see it. And then just go back, um, back to Modio. And then you'll see it right here. And uh, just click on content. And then click on this folder, this folder, this folder. And you're going to see banjo save.bin. So you're just going to want to open that up and you'll know it works when you get a banjo kazooie tab and you'll see some screenshots of the game and so what you want to do here is you want to head over to advanced and then there's going to be a little button down here called edge edit package contents so you're going to click on that and then you're going to see the save game dot dat this is the one from your console and you're going to want to delete this so you're going to click on it right click uh, delete and then just press yes and then you're going to want to right click again you want to press add file and then you're going to want to go over to your banjo practice file that you downloaded I believe it's right here and then you're just going to click on this save game dot dat so click on that and then once that's done it should be there uh, press done uh, save changes 
and then go back to the general tab and then click on save to E00225, whatever, on USB storage device. So just press that and it should say successfully saved and then just, and then just press OK. And now we're going to go over back to the Xbox and I'll be showing you if it worked or not. And we are back on our Xbox and what we're going to do now is we're going to plug back in the USB storage device. You're going to want to press X here. And oh, I don't think it's plugged in all the way. Let me um, uh, just wait a second. If it doesn't pop up right away, it will just eventually pop up here. At least I'm pretty sure, hopefully. There we go. USB storage device. You're going to want to uh, press that. And then it's going to give you a bunch of achievements. Um, at, at, at least I think most of them. And then you're going to have uh, three files with 10 hours on them with zero jigsaws and zero notes. Uh, we'll just go into it to make sure it's the right file. Um, if you see Mumbo's Mountain open right here, so that's open, and then you see this jigsaw right here, which is up here, you got, you're got you on the right file. So, because that's not usually possible in the vanilla game to have both of those uh, there. So yeah, that's basically it. And hopefully uh, get some good practice in um, another thing is, uh, this is kind of just only for Xbox 360 f for now. Um, you can get this working on Xbox One and above consoles, but you're gonna need an actual Xbox 360, and you're wanna you're gonna wanna go into your files and uh, transfer that over to uh, the cloud once you're done with this step. And then, yeah, and then you can get it on Xbox One. Um, but other than that, I might make a tutorial on that if anybody wants that, and. If anybody has any questions or concerns, um, something, you know, one of the steps didn't work, uh, leave a comment down below. And what else was I going to say? I was going to say something about something, um, but maybe not. All right. I think that's that's it. And yeah, any questions, any concerns, leave the comment down below and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.